Hello everyone, and welcome to the Talus Principle 2. We ended up in this location on the puzzle called Lateral Inhibition. So, let's get our blue laser done. And I guess we can get the red laser. Alright, I don't know what it does yet, but... Oh, it enables that, okay. Alright, but we need we need a thing here. So how do we do that? Is there any way for me to just do this? But now I cannot do that. Okay, so let's get this back. an idea would that work if I do oh wait I can do this right so take blue discharge this connect this get red When I connect it, I can do that. Yeah, that works. Okay. So I put it here for now. Move over there. Fuck, I fucked up. My bad. And I do this, that, and this. Now it's disconnected. So I can pick up this. It's gonna open this. I place it down, and I have puzzle done. That was a cool one. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, cool. Anything behind us, perhaps. You know how it is with secrets. Always hiding something behind where you're supposed to go. Not here though. So from the map before, uh, there was one near the tower, but I guess we can wait for that. Complete the rest of the puzzles first. Like this one. Letter uh, number six. Reconnaissance. So we can get a green one. We can get a green laser, can we? Not through here. Mm -hmm. We have a color changing laser. We can put this here. Not quite the angle I was hoping for, sadly. But what I could do is place it here, open it. Wait, place it here, open it. Get a positive charge and then just place it there. Alright, that gives me the transformer. Then we have the hole maker. Is there a hole maker here that I could do? No. But that's the green laser. Yeah, you can only put it on the... Oh, there's literally none. No place where I can put it. We need a blue laser and a red laser. Um, we can make a red with transforming blue and blue and green. Get a red. Mm. 
Oh, there's where I can put it, okay. Something like this, probably. And I'll be using this one as a placeholder for this, maybe. Or actually, it might be a placeholder for that. Just so we can steal this blue charge and bring it there. Where's that green charge coming from? That would be here. I would need to disable this though. I think I have an idea. I think what we need is thinking outside of the box and what we actually need to do is this
I now have red one. So now we need green and I mean red and If I do this, would that work? No, you need two connections. Did I fuck up? No, I didn't, right? Oh, red and blue makes green. Mm. Yeah, I think I have it then. Yeah, red and blue makes green. Oh, fuck. How's green gonna help me? Oh, I fucked up, okay. It's fine. How do I get the green there? The question. Make the red. Wait, no, I had it correct. I fucked up. My bad. We're gonna have one more. Okay. You collect to that, you connect to that, place it here. Discharge. Connect to that, place it here. We have a red. Place that there. Actually. Place that there. Go here with this. Get this. Place that. Take that. Place here. Take that. Blue. Blue. That's what I was missing, okay. You don't need this shit at all. I really wasted 15 minutes on this puzzle? Come on. Right. Actually no, I did the other one as well, okay. It was less good. Seven. Red and blue makes green. Take green and red to make blues. There we go. Elohim must be very proud of you, 1K. Definitely. Alright, this is the dungeon. This is where they must have lived. Athena and Miranda. You know, for a moment, I almost expected to find them here. But the only thing that's still functional is the megastructure. I'm sorry. This must be awfully strange for you being thrown into all this history. But that's why I needed you. Because you're not burdened with all these memories and conflicts and regrets weigh on our minds like a nightmare. 
A nightmare. Our civilization is caught in a loop, 1K. We freed ourselves from the simulation, but now we're trapped again, and it's our own fault. We're afraid of taking responsibility, afraid of growing up. Instead, we make up some capitalized words and build up all these myths around them. Nature, balance, the founder, the goal. We're afraid to face the randomness of the cosmos, but equally afraid to imagine a better world. So we're stuck. I've been trying to find a way out for years. Something, anything, to get people to understand that we do actually have free will. That building a thriving, expanding civilization doesn't have to involve repeating the mistakes of the past. But I failed. Over and over. Anything that we've discovered here could change things. Yes. Because this is something unexpected. An anomaly. Everything we found on this island challenges who we have become. It shows us that different answers are possible. And maybe that can break people out of the loop. All we need is a spark. Maybe that's why she made all this. The puzzles, the towers. A way of jolting us out of our complacency. I hope so. Thank you, 1K. I hope so too. We might be wrong, but let's be optimistic. Now, let's see what else we can find here. Sure thing. Melville, eyes on 1K stream. Is this thing what I think it is? Blow my fuse box. It sure looks that way. Best not touch it until I get there. You can get here in time, my curiosity is too great. You have no idea what you're dealing with, Wonke. Tell me, then. I think it's... a somnodrome. It's a sort of analytics tool for processing mental data that Melampus dreamed up. But all he ever did was sketch out the theory. As far as I'm aware, he never actually built one. Looks like the founder gave it a go. How does it work? Well, what we know is that our deeper algorithms are hard to pass. Melampa stipulated that the computational power to interpret them in real time would always be beyond us. But in theory, the Somnodrome would interpret that data and loop it directly to our senses. People were hoping to find answers to the big questions by having a conversation with our own subconscious. If you ask me, it's solipsistic at best, and pseudoscience regardless. That may be. But if the founder figured it out, then that device could be an extremely important discovery. I should try it. I would advise against it. You may have survived all those data stream overloads, but interface with that thing, and you're liable to get bricked. Not to mention risking the data we could get from it. No, I don't care about the data. I want to plug in. Sorry, Melville, but if 1K wants to do this, I won't get in the way. It's his decision. Understood. But if 1K starts to smoke, don't be slow to pull the plug. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. What did I say? You fried it. Who knows what data we've lost? I regret nothing. Melville, I still think it's worth you coming here to take a look. 1K, let's pack up and explore the rest of this lab. All right.
All of you in this expedition have a question about Somnodrome. You can answer them. Please do not respond. Okay. I don't really care about the rest. Let's just go and continue more puzzles. Mess up eight? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. I missed this as well. Strap in. This is a long one. You may have heard the story of the carpenter who died to redeem humanity's sins. It's a powerful story. Bittersweet. Very human. And I just want to tell you that it's true. He was a real person. And his name was John. John Carpenter. He was born in the year 1948, and he was the coolest filmmaker to ever walk the earth. From Halloween to The Thing to They Live, the totally underrated in the mouth of madness, mind you, he just made classic after classic. All of his movies, really fun, really atmospheric, but also really smart. Even when they were goofy, most directors would kill to have made just one of those movies. And what did he get for it? A big, fat truckload of nothing. Well, <laughs> less than nothing. The studios, the critics, even the fans, they hated him. The Thing, okay, for example, which is about as perfect a movie as you can make, completely torn to shreds. And his career never really recovered. Every movie after that was a struggle. And after a while, he just got tired of it and quit. He only really came back to movies in his 70s. How many works of genius did we never get because of that? Look, I have a point here. People like Carpenter, people like Alex, they're not always appreciated in their own time. If you just do what's popular, you might never create anything important. Of course, we admire people who did the right thing, who didn't conform, but we only ever admire them after the fact. What matters is to support people when it's difficult. Let's get this question mark, it's literally just a palm reader. And so then we can do the rest, hopefully. One of the most foolish illusions that commonly persist 
is that nature is a victim and humanity is a perpetrator. This can only be the opinion of someone who has not witnessed nature at first hand, who has not seen its immense and awe-inspiring baseness. Nature That's is one of the three that we need. and eternal conflict. A system of predation and consumption whose perfect cruelty can only induce a terrified and unwilling admiration. There should be one extra teleporter, right? Nature is most powerful and least honorable enemy. A beast that consumed every last one of our ancestors and will consume us just as quickly if we are not successful in our struggle with it. And then one, there was one next to the tower as well. I'll have to check the star afterwards. But I think we have one more level or something. That's a palm reader as well. Oh, there's the statue there. I think that might be it. Sometimes it seems the only choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion. But that's not the only path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and artisans, blessed with the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better shapes. Shapes that have meaning. With our technology, we can take this chaotic world, so full of suffering, and turn it into a work of art. So lost, which one is it?
Fucking finally. Maybe that island? It was on the one of the islands next to it, so maybe it's that one. of clay you have taken another step towards the flame before you continue ask yourself have the gifts of prometheus ever truly benefited your people or have they brought nothing but strife lady i'm a robot his gifts have greatly eased the suffering of the world. Without his gifts, we would no longer even exist. Without Prometheus, your ancestors would never have fallen. And you would have all the natural gifts that your people have now lost. Disasters always happen. Without the gifts of Prometheus, we would be defenseless. Yet new disasters will befall you because of his gifts. And they may be more terrible than anything you have seen before. Consider this as you continue your quest. We got the laser? I'm thinking. There's three towers per cardinal direction and three entities. You'd think it would be symmetrically arranged. One tower per entity, right? But we haven't seen Prometheus at all. We're built to find patterns. Maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any. He's got... He was chained. What do you mean? None may know what came first. Error or sin. And yet every choice depends on it. To go there again? Guess I missed something by accident. It's alright. This was locked before. Oops. Are we going around? This was locked before. sustained itself longer this time did we get the data we did i think we just obsoleted quantum physics maybe let's not get ahead of ourselves we need to be able to replicate these results you know i've been wondering you told me that in the simulation one thing that kept you motivated was looking for answers do you think that with the work we're doing We'll ever run out of questions to ask. I don't think so. Trying to understand the universe means asking the same question over and over. How? How do you make fire? How do earthquakes happen? How does gravity work? How do particles behave? You keep digging deeper, finding another set of mechanisms, another set of hows. Step by step, you demystify reality. But then, if you keep doing it long enough, one day, you run out. You've answered all the hows. You know how the universe works. So, now what? 
Now you ask why? Isn't that the next step? Hmm, it's not quite that easy. The question of why cannot be answered. Even if it could, it would only be followed by another why. At some point, you have to accept that it all just... exists. But there is another set of questions. What's next? You've stripped away the layers of mystery, you've laid bare the machinery. Now you have to start building, to add your own layers of meaning. All right, we can go back. Oh, teleportation. Okay. Are you okay? You overloaded again. I'm fine. I saw Tina again. Yes, I saw. It came through on your stream. Strange to hear her voice again, but that was her. The way I remember her. The real Athena, not this imaginary founder. Tell me more about her. I was one of the first she woke up. There was just a handful of us in those days. A small family in the ruins of a dead civilization. It was hard. Harder than anyone can possibly imagine. We had nothing except what Alexandra Drennan and the Institute left us. Now that everyone lives in civilization, they don't understand how necessary it was for us to build that civilization. They can fantasize about living in balance, limiting growth, retreating behind our walls. They don't understand what it really means to live in the wilderness. How close we came to not making it. How many people we lost. Yemma was just the first. But Athena understood. She believed in humanity. She believed in us in the inherent value of consciousness. Her dreams were so much bigger. She wanted us to reclaim the Earth, to reach for the stars, to build and grow and learn. So why did she leave? I... I don't know. I understand why she became frustrated when the city started thinking more about itself than about the future. It was frustrating for all of us. But we were still fighting for that future together. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell me. If she came here to do all this, why didn't she bring me along? She did what she thought she had to. She did. She must have. I just don't understand. But if all this is a test, maybe there's an answer waiting for us in the megastructure. Speaking of which, let's get back to exploring. Melville should have reconnected the next station by now. All right. Marches North Three. So far, I'm not gonna lie, this is for me very close to getting the best puzzle game of all times award. This area looks flooded as well. Our ancestors melted a whole lot of ice. 
After they died, most coastal settlements were claimed by the sea. South of New Jerusalem, there's a whole city under the water. We went there once with Garris when I was an apprentice. It was eerie. That's exactly why the founder created the goal. When you go past the limits, this is what happens. Mother Nature always gets her revenge in the end. This isn't revenge, Al. It's just failure. People, cities, mountains, as far as the sea is concerned, it's all the same. Their mistake was forgetting that, telling themselves nothing would change. It always does. Okay, we'll do that later. Oh, this is one. Okay. Looks like a very tiny puzzle. Bring an item to swap. Okay. Bring it from where? It's not a teleporter. It's a item giver where you can replace one item for another. I've had a closer look at the Somnodrome. You know, the one that 1K fried. It's based on the original prototype with some modifications. As usual, the data is a mess, but I strongly suspect there might be a functional version somewhere. I know some of you have heard stories about the answers this device might reveal. But please remember, that is not our main priority here. Keep an eye open for it, but focus on finding Athena. Alright. Sorry about that, game likes to crash. I guess we'll be going for that later. Let's do this first. Phew. Clever. The fact that he had to put it up there. Cool puzzle design. Alright, we have a tower here. The second one. This one is... Get a green laser. Probably from this puzzle. Or not. Alright, so we need to get a red laser to this location from somewhere. 
we can put that there. So I'm guessing we get the laser from here. Oh. That's gonna reset the puzzle, but that's okay. Actually, no, the puzzle should remain solved, right? That's how it works. Yeah. It resets the puzzle, but it remains solved. That's how it works. Okay. Nice. I saw the fire on the ground next to that statue. the fuck is this supposed to be? Huh. You may wonder why I insist on these unsanctioned, unplanned expeditions. Some think it is because I hate civilization and prefer to lose myself in nature. This is precisely the opposite of the truth. It is because I love New Jerusalem that I have to leave, because it is only when I am here that I fully appreciate what the city means. And also because I believe that if I stayed at home, I would one day be ethically compelled to commit acts of violence against those who, in their arrogance, imagine that humans should live in harmony with the chaos that surrounds us. Alright, four. Let's see if we can get a, a green laser from here. How do I get this? Ah, I have an idea. So I swap this one for a box as well. But I need a third box as well. That means I need to get in there somehow with the laser. from there even work? I don't think so. For God, you can't do that. So 
makes you walk. Mm. None of them are like uh, memory banks. Not even that one. Can do something like that, right? Yeah. No, I can't. All right. Oh, I'm fucking blind. Okay. Got a box. Put that here. I didn't, even no I didn't notice that this at all. That there. Take that. Get a box. Get a box. Put box one. Put box two. Put box three. Jump, jump, jump down. And now we don't have to worry about that at all. So that's gonna be one. Still no green beam, so it's gonna be something else as well. Wandering around these landscapes, solving puzzles. In a way, 1K's experience must be very similar to Athena's in the simulation. There's one difference though. Athena was alone. Who am I? You are not helping me solve these puzzles.
I think that's a good a uh, angle. I hope. I'm gonna try. Jumping on the rocks doesn't work much. I don't know how possible that is to take it from there. That's just not happening. I need to get a buff somehow. Just don't see the way to get higher. I can do this, but that's about it, right? I need to get on top of that. Take it from that instead. I don't know. Let's do level five. There, that might not be the only way to get this greener thingy. island is completely dead. No animals, no plants. The soil is too alkaline for anything to live except bacteria. Yes, that's why it's a good location for some of the experiments. Well, if we want to show that we can make the cosmos more beautiful, then why don't we start there? The desert doesn't have to be dead. If we modify the conditions, life can thrive there. And that could be the first step towards spreading life to other worlds. What do you think? I think that sounds like a plan. But how do we do this? I need a blue charge, right?
Oh, that disables two of them. Okay, my bad. I don't realize that. think about how many cities there are out there under the ocean cities where people lived for thousands of years cities with their own history their own culture all of it lost under the waves if they'd been less greedy they could have kept all that I don't think we can pass moral judgment on an entire species based on the decisions of a handful of leaders but I do think they made a mistake they stopped caring about what they built. They stopped seeing the romance of civilization. I know where to get a red laser. Not anything else yet. will only give me one color I need two colors to do anything with it let's say I was there could I grab the blue one from here and the green one yes blue one and green one would make a red one I don't need a red one. That's the issue. I don't need one. They're really only. Oh, I can take that. My bad. Okay. I take that. Yes. Have an idea.
Is there any way for me to get up to the first floor? If I only have one box. You cannot cheese it like that. Okay, I was overthinking this, but that works as well. They always get you with this. Oh, that's impossible. What I was trying to do is get this one up there. That would make a blue one into a red one. And then I could take the green one and the blue one, combine them, uh, and the red one, and combine them into the blue one to open this, but it's fine. We solved it. Now the question is, can we take this green laser and take it to there? Possibly? I mean, it's an angle. You were supposed to do that. Can I jump this? No. So I think I did something that I shouldn't have. Um, I think. Perhaps not. Wait, how do you even. Ah, you would need to go up there. Okay. I would need a red one, anyways. I did the intended solution probably not but wow that one was a the other thing would be just moving both of them here replacing this so I can move it get the box there uh, not my problem is it this game is about thinking outside of the box anyways always was always were opium Right, uh, this way. Alright. So we need a hole digger thingy. Okay.
What's stopping me from just doing this? Why is this not working? Do I need this fan? No. that oh it's up there okay I fucked up do is replace the jammer this so I can take that wait I do need it with me okay Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, I think I got it. So I switch this, we go there. Take this, swap with that. Right? No, 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 no. I'm so fucking wrong. I put this up here. Then I go there, swap with. Needs to be on the very edge like this. Swap with them. It's gonna now jam that. That means I can take this, swap it with you, make a hole. Can take that jammer, drop down, what put this go down, go here, and do this laser.
Okay. Something I really like about Alex, one of the reasons why I'm here doing this, is that she's really humble. She has this incredibly positive view of humanity. She believes we can accomplish anything, but it's not about her. She doesn't think that she's smarter or better than anyone else. She just looks at us as a species. And even though she can see how small we are in the grand scheme of things, she thinks that we could conquer the stars and give meaning to the universe. Even now, even when none of us are going to live to see it. Isn't that awesome? Sure. Not really, though. Miranda, would you like to play a game? A game? That sounds like fun. It is. Remember what Alexandra Drennan said about games? They're part of what makes us human. Exactly. And this is a game Alexandra Drennan designed when she was still in school. It's based on her favorite book. Have a go. Okay, that's cool and all, but like, how the fuck do I do anything now? I need one more item. Can I take this off? No. Where's the other jammer? Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Okay. That's what I needed, okay. I get the tunnel. Alright, how the fuck do I get this back though?
I'm a bit confused by this. Oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. Take this, swap these two, with that, and I go back up, swap these two. Now I get this. Put that there, combine these two. Swap this, put that there. And then I take the jammer, unjam it, and got it. Alright, since the stars... Okay, there's one more question mark where to go. But since we will be getting... Actually, we won't be getting any schematics, so it's fine. Let me get that question mark, I suppose. So I'll be getting that shortly as well. Fuck, okay. I don't know what that is, but I'll check it out. Hear me, friend, and heed my words. Beware Pandora. She is nothing but fear and despair and she will do anything to prevent you from reaching the flame. It is she who disrupted the trials of Hello, the Sphinx, Prometheus. and who bound me in the... In the... Well done, 1K. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. The megastructure is opening again. Everyone come to the VTOL, please. It's time to find Athena. What about Pandora? She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. We should be careful, but we can't let such a vague threat paralyze us. Just keep your eyes open. We begin with the self, because that is what determines our existence as individuals. But the self cannot exist without that which surrounds it. The citizen lives within the city, and the city lives within the cosmos. So now we must apply the principle we have discovered to the wider world and ask, if man is like a machine, could it be that the universe is similar in nature? And if so, what follows from that fact?
I was a bit away, but I think that's it. It's very hard to judge the direction we are this far. From where? Okay. Seriously? Going down or do I have to go up? Okay. the way up there yeah. walk all around it not the correct way the puzzle is the six okay Paradise cannot be found. It must be built. Alright, so again, from where can we steal one? I don't remember, was there any... anyone here that I could steal? Could steal the blue one here. Jumpable? What about this way? That seems like it's possible. Maybe not.
Because that doesn't solve the red one that I need. I mean, a uh, red one and a green one. Combine it somehow. Let me think. So, if we go there... Get the blue one easily, right? What's that? Wait. You see it, guys? You see it? It's the accumulator. Okay, wait, 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 I think we have something. Alright, we have a blue one. Now we need to get the red one. Can we get red one from here? Or from there? I don't know, there must be an angle to get a red one. Actually, I think this is gonna be to get the green one here, right? We'll need a box here, somehow. even get this one over there is it even possible I wanted the box right maybe it's better to get it here yeah let's try that the blue one and it's gonna so we need the red one either from that puzzle or this puzzle I'm guessing it's gonna be that one and then we have it solved mm, okay we need to go uh, over the bridge I think it's this one then. Still doesn't explain where we can steal one piece though. We need a red beam. Horses are broken, not taught. That is the way of humankind.
I don't know if it's important to get that though. Maybe not. If it is, we know where it is and we'll figure it out later. I'll have to go back here for the golden puzzle anyways. I don't know if you need it for that, so that's the only reason why I would do it. Anyways, that's all of it from here, and we go into the mega structure again. There's something I've been thinking about. I know the new Alexandria disaster was traumatic. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. But what about all the accidents that have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? The collapse of the Rakowski building. The Calvin Street explosion. The derailment that almost killed Ben Arroyo in Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing enough resources in our civilization. And if Melville hadn't been put in charge of city maintenance, this would still be happening. It will happen again either way. With how little we have to work with, it's only a matter of time. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress, but there's also a price for not pursuing it. Here we go again. Our main objective is to determine the relationship between the megastructure and Athena. Did she find it? Did she build it? Why was she here in the first place? Explore, dig up anything you can. We need to start finding answers. I can't imagine one person building all this. Don't forget about Miranda. There were at least two of them. I can't imagine a hundred people building this. All right, everyone. Have a look around, but stay in touch and be careful. 1K, can you stay a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Yeah? I know you can't wait to start exploring, but just hear me out, okay? Okay. Sure. I'm concerned. Byron is brilliant, but all he can think about is the possibility of finding Athena. She was his mentor, and her disappearance shattered him. I'm afraid he's not seeing the dangers of the megastructure. To me, this place seems... Mega. Chaotic. Dysfunctional. Yes, it's all very impressive, but I think it's broken. And what we're seeing is, uh, it's nonsense, frankly. You've interacted with it more than anyone. What do you think? I think it's all intentional. We're meant to do something here. So you see it that way too, huh? Well, maybe I'm wrong. I hope so. But please, be careful. Oh, shut the fuck up. Let's explore. I'm headed deeper into the mega structure. Not quite sure where I am. Seem to be right in the middle of the machinery. Please, watch yourself, Byron. This is incredible. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing. I don't think this is a building. I think this is a machine.
Why don't you just tell people that they're wrong? If you tell them the truth, they'll listen. It's not that simple. Straton wrote that the most common error we commit is to think that ideas determine reality, when in fact the opposite is true. Ideas follow from material conditions. Belief systems are formed to explain and justify the way we live. We did not have kings because we believed in the mandate of heaven. We believed in the mandate of heaven because we lived in monarchies. But we have free will. Oh, free will isn't the same as freedom, Miranda. We're not free from the constraints of re reality or history. I was shaped by the simulation. New Jerusalem is shaped by its limitations. So what? We're just trapped? History can only go one way? Maybe, maybe not. The question is, how do we free ourselves? How do we build a world where our ideas do shape reality? That's why we came here. Is it? All right. I wonder what puzzles are going to be in this. I knew it. Athena's here. She built this. That other voice. Was that Cornelius? It definitely sounded like him. Come to think of it, he went on a research expedition around the time Athena vanished. He was gone for years. People thought he died. And all this time, he knew where she was? We should talk to him. We will, when we get back. But right now, Ooh. we have to focus on finding Athena. We are so close. Are those surfaces magnetic? No, nope. it's anti-gravity. Yakut was right. I should have known. 1K, I'm over here. Hold on. I'll open that door for you. I'll do it. Thank you. pattern as before. Three beams, three receivers. I guess we know what to do. Be careful. The sheer amount of power running through this place. I'll take care of this puzzle. You do the other two, okay? No, I want to do all three. This is kind of fun. Maybe Alexandra Drennan was right. Play is part of what makes us human. Melville. Is there anything in the system that could tell us where Athena is? I don't know. Got it. Anyone, but I think the ground is shaking. According to the system, whole parts of the interior are moving around. Like it's rearranging itself. I think that's what happened last time. When I took the elevator, the platform where I got out just moved away. Not is it a multi layer puzzle where you I already solved one? Fuck him. 
Or maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look like there's a button next to it. Yeah, I cannot solve this from here. Okay, uh, tell you what. What I'm gonna do is create all the bridges, and next time we can actually focus on this. Because right now, uh, this would take too long because it's a meta puzzle. So yeah, let's just focus on the bridges first. And then we can do the puzzle next time. So where is that other puzzle? There. Hitting something.
Alright. This is the puzzle he solved. That seems awfully easy for him, isn't it? Okay, that's the only way there is. Alright. So we are done halfway. I think this is gonna be a lot of running. I'm just gonna give it a try. If it doesn't work, then I'll figure it out for next time. Alright, I'm stealing that blue laser. I didn't see that at all. Yeah, you can't steal it. There's this laser in the way, right? Yeah, it feels like you can, but... This. I can definitely steal one. Like I didn't need it though. That would be so cool. I didn't notice that one wall, right? You can definitely pull it from a different puzzle. Either way, whatever is hiding inside, that is for next time. For now, I'm just gonna walk towards that place. And yeah. It's gonna be very interesting. the fuck is going on? Where am I? Yeah. Okay. And I need to go... This way? Alright, 
this is it thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time that's impressive looking building all right bye